In this video, Hemoband Surgical would like to present to you a new system for the examination of the anal canal and rectum. This also facilitates applying bands on hemorrhoids. It's called system because it integrates the instruments used, the rigid sigmoidoscope and the proctoscope in, in a unique, innovative way. Our aim was to reduce patients' discomfort by reducing the number of introductions of the instruments, eliminate the feeling when instruments are rotated, and reducing the time required for the procedures. Achieving the above resulted in less materials and manufacturing steps used, which impacted positively on cost. The most common indication for these procedures is PR bleeding. Surgeons almost always tend to perform rigid sigmoidoscopy first to rule out upper rectal or higher pathology followed by proctoscopy to diagnose hemorrhoids, and if present, they are banded. Other clinicians may do proctoscopy only to diagnose anal canal and lower rectal uh, conditions. We provide this system in three forms, a proctoscope-only set, a sigmoidoscope-only set, and a composite. set. The clinician will decide according to the clinical situation which package to use. The price difference is not great if a mistake is made. The innovative uh, features we introduced are a sleeve through which the instruments are introduced, either proctoscope or sigmoidoscope, a short trocar for both proctoscope and sigmoidoscope, and an easily detachable light module which contains the batteries, which provide excellent illumination uh, so it can be disposed of uh, with minimal amount of plastic attached. Then a detachable handle carrying the light module so it can be used both for the proctoscope and the sigmoidoscope. The composite which contains detachable parts between the two scopes reducing both cost and amount of plastic uh, used. The proctoscope set will contain the trocar, the sleeve, and the main body of the proctoscope with the detachable handle and the light module uh, attached to it. The sigmoidoscope set will contain the same, the sleeve and the trocar, the main body of the sigmoidoscope, the handle, which is the same handle like the proctoscope with the uh, light module attached to it, and the lens and air pump module. The combo uh, set will contain the sleeve and the trocar, the handle with the light module, main body proctoscope, main body sigmoidoscope, and the, the lens and air pump module together. All parts are only uh, one-use disposables. I will demonstrate the procedure on a specially made mannequin Coloman 1 for training on this procedure and for training on uh, banding hemorrhoids. So we started the procedure by applying a generous amount of uh, lubricant to the uh, trocar and also part of the sleeve, the front, and then introduce it very gradually into the anal sphincter and um, that will dilate it gradually and reduce the discomfort for the patient. As soon as introduced fully, this especially the sleeve, we take the trocar out. Now we apply the handle to the sigmoidoscope and turn the light on and introduce it through the sleeve and what is going to happen is that the patient is not going to feel it in because of the sleeve. The air pump and, and the lens module, you put it at this, the, uh, the air pump is at 3 o'clock because there is an identification here for, to accommodate the light module and then we can use the pump to inflate. 
you can introduce or take out or rotate fully without causing any discomfort to the patient because of the presence of the sleeve. Okay, and then that will show now we by rotating it one hemorrhoid, the second hemorrhoid, and the third hemorrhoid. There is a space between the sleeve and the sigmoid uh, tube which will allow any excess air to, uh, to leak and that will reduce discomfort for the patient. When this is finished, we're going to remove the handle and we're going to remove the tube. So we're going to take the handle and attach it to the uh, proctoscope. Have the light on, introduce it through the sleeve, and again, the patient is not going to feel. While introducing it, there is a mechanism, very simple mechanism between the sleeve and the body of the proctoscope through which the, pro the proctoscope body will go through all the way, but it's in, then it will be easily locked. Okay, and then that will show now we by rotating it one hemorrhoid, the second hemorrhoid, and the third hemorrhoid. When we finished it, that proctoscope can be rotated against the mechanism and it will easily come out.